Hi, this is DOSBOX Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Buck Rogers Matrix Cubed. We're just outside Dockside Supply. It's, you know, basically a shop like the ones that were in all the bases back in Countdown to Doomsday. We were able to sell off some of the excess stuff from the equipment locker on our ship and buy a little bit of ammo. Now we are ready to continue exploring the shops. So this is a clinic. You know, it's just like the auto the auto docks hum soothingly. Do you need healing? Do you need healing? No. And we get kicked out. A man carrying a bundle of papers runs rushes up to you. He grabs your arm desperately. I'm Dr. Romney. Please help me get to the Sun King. It's most urgent. Before he can explain, you hear the stomp of booted feet and the clamor of arms being ready. Romney cries out in exasperation. Take these papers to the Sun King! I know you won't let them fall into the wrong hands! Hurry! But the troopers are already surrounding you. Brandis Allade notices that the leader is wearing a distinctive ring, the letters P-U-R-G-E displayed prominently. Ah, whoever that guy is has kind of shaggy hair, too. Congrats, Brandel Soleil wins, ex gains experience. The Terran leader grabs Romney and shoves him toward a ground car. What do you do? Let's help Romney. Try to get Romney away from the Terrans, but the leader quickly pushes Romney to the car and speeds off to the south, shouting, "Kill these abominations!" What? Just because I have a diverse group of Characters. Okay, let's. Okay, so it's just the six. The six purge warriors there. Uh. Okay, that should be far enough away to keep our people out of blast range. Yeah, and we'll have yeah. There we go. Oh, that went way off. Hmm. I think I'm gonna save his explosive grenades for later battles. We'll have him try to finish off these guys with his needle gun instead. Okay, so took out three of them. Yep, yeah, that should do. Oh, crap. Well, we might have to actually go to the auto dock after all. Oh, okay. We found some booty. Okay, let's see how many credits. Eh, some. A few. Not that many. What do they have? Oh, look at that. Lots of explosive grenades and chaff grenades. And Martian needle guns. Okay, so we'll have Bran pick up 
chaff grenades and explosive grenades. Oh. Okay. Okay, then we'll have her. We might have her drop, dump her needle gun. If we can get some nice Martian needle guns. I think basically everybody already has ECM packages and protective goggles. So that's pretty good. Nothing else I really want to take. Oh. Yeah, no, we don't want to claim it. Now that you're alone, do you look at the bundle of papers? Yes. You open the bundle and you record what you find as logbook entry 9. Which is in the next section of the logbook. The papers are a great mass of diagrams, equations, and notes. Much of it is cryptic, though the thrust seems to be a device which can reshape an atom's subatomic matrix into another form with energy as a byproduct. One note in particular stands out. I finally worked out the final equation. It was gravity all the time. Now the very pollution can be used to purify the Earth. Toxic waste can be used to rebuild the areas it destroyed. I fear whoever controls this technology will have the power to dictate the solar system's economy. I am tempted to destroy my notes, but I cannot in all good conscience do such a thing. You idiot. Okay. We'll save. Different save position. And we probably could use it quick trip to the auto dock which was right there do you need healing yes we do and fortunately they don't charge okay so let's continue Traveling through here. Ah, the sunspot. You enter a dockside bar. What do you do? Let's buy a drink. Now what do you do? Talk. A miner becomes interested. And the Warrens, they say Berkeley's going to give away all our business. What happens if we... Oh. Yeah, no, no new clues, so we'll just leave. Okay, and this is the Rising Sun. The surface droid approaches you. Welcome to the Rising Sun. Are you staying? And actually, we're not staying at this time. I suppose theoretically we could, but no thank you. So we get kicked out. We're not missing much, believe me. That's the other entrance. Okay, the way we need to go is through this next set of double doors. 
Let's see, we do have. That's the Port Authority office here. It's supposed to be the Port Authority office. Nope, it's not. Okay. Portmaster's too busy to speak to you. Technicians are busy at their comm stations. Yeah, this isn't the way we're supposed to enter, but oh well. And I think we're supposed to go. Security officers begin questioning you. Now I notices a ram insignia beneath their collars. Congrats, now I gains experience. What do you do? Ooh. Uh maybe we should attack. Oh, great! Is this Ram Assassins? And of course we didn't re equip our stuff. Well, he does still have his grenade his grenade launcher equipped. Oh, he stunned himself, idiot. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so they're all stunned, so maybe they won't attack us. Yeah, we'll use up this Martian needle gun. Okay, where's our sixth character? Yeah, we aren't going to use a plasma thrower right now. Thank goodness we don't have to make zero G skill rolls. I think we'll have her switch to her Mercurian pole arm. I'll see to use this Martian needle gun.
Hmm. Yeah, that's right. He should. Hmm. Martian Mono Sword. Yep, everybody's still immobilized for the moment. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just a minute. I'm going to give up work on tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, we're back. That was Dosbox Grandma saying goodnight. We've just taken out the last of the disguised RAM agents. So let's have Scotty equip his heavy weapon. And no injuries. We got booty. I'll divvy up the credits. Some more explosive grenades. And some Martian motto knives. I think Brand's the one with the grenades. We'll take the Martian motto knives, maybe. Don't mind that. We did have it on pause for a few minutes. At least for now, we'll take stuff that looks like it might have some decent resale value. Selling off excess gear is one way to replenish your personal funds. This time, let's remember to re-equip everybody's heavy weapons. We're probably going to sell off that regular needle gun. And that one we can dump because I think she has a regular needle. Oh, she's got a Venusian bolt gun. It's good enough. <coughs> yeah. He already has his rocket launcher equipped, of course. And there's Mr. Dosbox Mom. Okay. That should be it. Save and keep moving. A disembodied voice echoes through the hall. Jora, please report to the nearest courtesy council. Jora, please report to the nearest courtesy council. The computer comes to life. The coronation is about to begin. Stay where you are and someone will meet you. Dr. Saad approaches. I warned Berkeley you would be more trouble than you're worth. Go to the coronation hall in the southwest corner of the station at once and stay out of other people's fights. But, but, they have ram insignia under their outfits. Oh. What's here? Security office. Yep. 
Yeah, I don't think we're supposed to go in there just now. Rats. And that building to the south. That's actually Desaad's office. I don't think he wants us in there just yet. That's the coronation room. Let's save. And we will enter. The hall is thronged with dignitaries and personages from diverse cultures. Dancers, musicians, Lunarians, Venusians, and Terrans. Nala notices the Chancellor talking furtively with a group of men. Hmm. Congrats, Nala gains experience. The Sun King ascends the dais. Brothers and sisters, I accept this crown in your name and ask you to share in my dream. A solar system filled with brotherly love where harmony reigns. Yes, the dawning of the age of Aquarius or something like that. At least that's what it looks like. That is why I have come to Caloris for my coronation. Together we can make the solar system a garden of peace. Okay. Branda Soleil notices a group of Martians reaching to the ropes, possibly for a weapon. What do you do? Well, remember when that Ram technician was going to blow up the Mission Control Council back in Chicago? Somebody had to throw themselves on the grenade. Yes, yeah, is well. Instead of throwing ourselves in the grenade, we're going to throw ourselves in the Sun King and knock him down. You knock the Sun King behind the dais just as the assassins fire. The massive vid screen behind him explodes in a shower of sparks. Oh, and we go straight into a battle. And tons of ram assassins. At least we don't have to deal with maneuver and zero G checks, which I think we did have to do when we were on the Mercury Mariposa in the previous game. Okay. Head. We haven't changed the difficulty level yet. This is still the default level. Yeah. Okay, what why does he have his Mercurian needle gun equipped? Of course not. I'll That'll work. Yeah. See, all those. R oh, we did it before any of the Ram assassins got off their own explosive grenades. And of course, somehow we've managed to cook them all with 
plasma throwers and rocket launchers and somehow their gear hasn't been melted. Go figure. Oh yeah, that's right. Bran is our grenade specialist. There we go. Yeah, we don't have room for any more of those. Oh dear. Well, yeah, we're running a little bit long here, so we'll have to finish up soon. Well, it worked out well enough without him using his explosive grenades. That should be about it. Congrats! The team gains experience. The Sun King thanks you for saving his life. See my Chancellor in the room to the southeast. He'll see to your reward. Yeah. Are you sure you should be trusting that Chancellor? Who are those guys he was talking to? Well, maybe we'll find out in the next episode. So we will see you then.